to know that you are near. Draw us closer unto you, O oh God. At, at every point of our life that we are at, may you draw us closer unto you. Yes, Lord. At every point of our life, Jehovah God, that we are crying unto you, draw us closer unto you. At every point of our life, Jehovah God, where we feel forsaken, draw us closer unto you. Every point of our life, Jehovah God, where we feel like, where is our God? Draw us Father, closer unto you, O oh God. Jesus name. In all that we do, in all that we say, draw us closer unto you, O oh God. Yes, oh. In our moments of weariness, Father, today we are praying that draw us closer unto you. Yes, mighty God. Father God, this year you are all we need. Only you, Jehovah God, Father, this is. year you are all we need, O oh God. Mighty God. Father, this year may you be all that we shall ever uh, need, O oh God. Uh, yes. All that we shall ever need or have ever needed, O oh God, God, in this year. Mm -hmm. Father, draw us closer unto you. The Bible says that there's one that sticks closer than a brother. Hallelujah. There's one that never leaves nor forsakes. Mm. There's one that never leaves nor forsakes. Father, we the pray. The one that is always there. Yes. Father, today we cry unto you, Jehovah God. Mighty the God. The one who never sleeps nor slumbers. Mm. We cry unto you, Father yes, God. Lord, we cry. The one who is there in the valley of the shadow of death. Mm. The one who is there in the valley of empty and despair. Decision, the one who is there in our dark moments, Mighty the one God. who is there, oh God, Father, today we pray in the name of Jesus. Draw us closer unto you, Mighty God. May we know that you are near, oh God. Yes, Mighty May God. May we know that you are near, Jehovah God. Father, May we, we feel pray. the warmth of your own in the embrace, name oh of God. Jesus. May you shadow us, oh God. May Mighty you carry God. us on eagles' wings, oh God. Hallelujah. May we know. That you are here, oh God. May we feel your comfort. May we Mighty feel your God. presence. May we, we feel your friend. peace, oh God. May we feel you, oh God, in every area of our lives. Father, today we pray, oh God, in our homes, oh God, in our situation, our circumstances. We are praying, oh God. May we know that you are near. 
Baba. We want to feel you, O oh God. Father, we, pray. we want to touch you, O oh God. Father, we pray oh, in the God. mighty name of Jesus. We want to feel you. We want to embrace you. Mighty we want to touch you, O oh God. Mighty God, mighty God. We want to see you, O oh God, dry our tears this year, O oh God. We want to see you lift us up, O oh God, from the place where we've been dropped. We want to feel you lift us up in this year, O oh God. We want to see a demonstration of your power, O oh God, even in our meetings this year, O oh mighty God, in the mighty name of Jesus. Know that you are near. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Give us the grace to know that you are near. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Because you have said in your way that you shall never leave us nor hallelujah. forsake us. Yes, you never sleep or slumber. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Or even as David puts it that I was young and now I'm old. Mm. And I've never seen the, the righteous being forsaken. Mm. Yes. You're not forsaken any one of us this year. Yes, Lord. Help us know that you are near, oh God. You are closer to us than never before. Hallelujah. You are nearer to us than never before, Jehovah God. Help us, oh God, in this season, oh God. Father, we pray. In this season, Father God, our cry this season. We pray, mighty help God. Help us know that you are near to us. Father, we pray. Help us to know that you are near to each one of us. In the name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. Yes, mighty In God. Jesus is yes, mighty Lord. name. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. 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 And all the saints in the house, mm. they say amen. 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 Hallelujah. 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 Mm. Thank you, Jesus. We thank amen. God that He's God. Amen. amen. We thank God that He's God and He remains God. Hallelujah. Everything that He does is God. Hallelujah. 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 Mm. And we put our faith and our trust in Him. Amen. Hallelujah. Because He's God. Somebody sang a song and said, No matter what comes our way, He says, No matter what comes my way, you are still God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I've just got a message that I would like to encourage the church today, mm. even in this first, um, in, in, this, uh, in this year, in 20, uh, 2022, hallelujah. hallelujah, and I've just come with a message that I was, I was asking God that what shall I share mm. and what shall I preach, hallelujah. and God just dropped something in my heart, and I think mm. this is the right message mm. for this season and time, hallelujah. hallelujah, that we are going through, amen. Amen. So today I just want to talk, I just want to say renew. Hallelujah. 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 Renew. Amen. Amen. You can turn to your neighbor and say renew. Renew. Amen. I don't know what needs renewing in your life today, but today Hallelujah. I've just come with a message just to say renew or renew. Mm. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Just to say renew. Because things might look just the same. Amen. Mm. We've crossed over from 2021 to 2022 and things might just look the same. Amen. Mm. It might be the same old thing that we're going through. It might be the same path that we're walking down. It might be the same circumstance that we're going through. It might be the same challenge or the same hindrances that we are going through. But today I've come to tell somebody today that there needs to be a renewal in your life. Amen. You need to renew yourself. Hallelujah. I remember when we had after the overnight when we crossed over into 2022. I remember Eliezer telling me that, Mom, you know what? Nothing has changed. Amen. Mm. She said, nothing has changed. Everything just looks the same. Mm. Like, where, what do we have that we have to point on that we're in 2022? Hallelujah. I just said to her that, you know what? One thing that you need to know that we have crossed over. Hallelujah. Amen. And we are in 2022 because we are told that we are in 2022. Amen. Amen. And we've been told that we are in 2022. So today I just want to speak to somebody today. We might look, things might look the same to you for you. Things might look the same. Things might still be challenging. There might still be hindrances. But we need to renew ourselves. Hallelujah. Amen. We need to renew ourselves because we have moved into a new year. We have moved into a new level. We have moved into a new dimension. 
dimension. We are walking down a path that we have never walked before. We might want to be comparing to the path that we walked down last year, or the things that we did, or the things that we heard, or the people that we met, or the things that discouraged us. But today I've come to tell somebody that you need to renew yourself. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. If you are going to walk down in this year, there needs to be a renewal. You need to renew yourself. Why do you need to renew yourself? There needs to be renewing because God says in Revelation 21 verse 5, He says, Behold, I am making everything new. Hallelujah. So if God is making everything new, we can't afford to stay in the old. Hallelujah. We can't afford to stay in the old if God is making everything new. I remember Deacon sharing last week when she was sharing in the prayers. The, 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 the Bible says that you cannot put new wine in old wine skins. Mm. Hallelujah. Because what happens is that uh, the wine when it's being made, it needs to be fresh and ferment. The wine skin, by the time it gets old, it begins to lose its tenacity, even a rope. It loses its strength. It loses its tenacity. So if they begin to pour the wine into there, it, you know, it cannot hold the wine. Amen. It will either break. That's why you see the wine leaking and holes leaking. It also goes to say that we cannot put, you cannot put up a new garment with an old with an old thing. As we come from Zambia, we know what it means. We come from Africa. We used to patch our clothes. When your clothes, when your dress rips, they'll get a, a patch at Ichigamba, and then they'll patch it. They'll sew it around, and you can even see that that is a patch. But then if it's under your armpit or between your legs, it's even worse because the moment you stretch, it begins to rip because the new the new cloth, it cannot hold that old cloth, hallelujah. Amen. So there needs to be a renewal in our lives. We need to get to the place where we are renewed. Why? Because God is making everything new in our life. Amen. So if God is making everything new in our lives, so we need to be renewed, hallelujah. We need to be renewed. I looked at a few definitions that talk about renewing. It says renew is to make like new. Amen. Amen. To restore something to its freshness. Mm. A new vigor. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Or perfection. Hallelujah. Like when we go to sleep, we renew our strength in our That's why we sleep. We sleep because we want to renew our strength. When we are tired, we can't think. We go to bed. So we can wake up afresh and new. Hallelujah. So it is to make like new, to restore something to its freshness, restore something to its vigor, restore something to perfection. Amen. Amen. The other thing I saw about uh, re to renew, it means to make new spiritually. So it's not only a physical renewing, but it is Hallelujah. also a spiritual renewing. When we're going through a spiritual renewing, there needs to be a regeneration within our lives. Amen. Hallelujah. Somebody might say, oh no, maybe you're talking about restoration. Hallelujah. So what it means to make something new, it means to be new or make something new simply. Or to produce something new. Amen. Amen. Or, or a sense of making something new. God is always in the business of a sense of making things new. So if God is making everything new, so we need to renew because we can't stay in our old self and begin to walk in the newness of God. Hallelujah. We can't. Mm. We can't afford to do that. Mm. Some people might say, okay, I want to be restored. Well and good, but there's a difference between restoration and being renewed. Amen. Hallelujah. To restore is to re-establish something. Amen. Amen. Or to bring back something into existence. That's what it means to restore. They give you back that which you lost. Whatever you lost, they give it back to you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Or they re-establish it. Maybe a hundredfold or whatever, in whatever form it is. But to renew is to make something new. Amen. Amen. Something new again. To restore that thing to its freshness. The way it was when it started at the beginning. Amen. Hallelujah. And I believe most of us, we're not the same way we were. I'm not the same way I was when I was 15 years old. Hallelujah. Right now, when you see me, if I want to stand, I have to take effort. Or I have to live. My, my legs are aching. Amen. Because I've gone through a process where I've been worn out. I've gone through a process where I've lost my strength.
strength. I've gone through a process where I've been weighed down by so many things. And that's why we need to get to a place where we can be renewed. I want to tell somebody today that God is saying that I'm making everything new. And because God is saying that I'm making it, God doesn't make things better. He makes things new. Amen. And Amen. that is the privilege that we have as children of God. He makes things new. He doesn't make things better. Amen. Hallelujah. So we, let's read uh, uh, Romans chapter 12 verse 1. Romans, Romans chapter, chapter 12. 12 verse 1. I'll read up to 2 for scripture's sake. For, con- for, for, for context. But I want to base me on verse 1. So Romans, Romans chapter number chapter 12, 12. Verse 1 to 2. Verse 1 to 2. The Bible says Romans 12, 1 to 2. I beseech you therefore, brothers and sisters, by the mercies of God, that you present your bodies as a living sacrifice, holy, acceptable to God, which is your reasonable service. Amen. And do not be conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind that you may prove that which is good and acceptable and perfect will of God. Amen. 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 So like I said that uh, we need to get to the place where we can be renewed because God is making everything new. Mm. Like I said before that you cannot put old wa- new wine in old wine skins. Mm. You cannot patch a new garment onto an old skin. Mm. So we need God to fill us up. He tells us, he says that I beseech you brethren by the message of God that you present your bodies as a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable unto God which is a reasonable service. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Like I said that God doesn't make things better. He makes things new. And it's through our bodies, amen. Amen. We express what we think through our bodies. Mm -hmm. We express what we have through our bodies. We express the way we live. Through what? Through our bodies. And that's why Paul is saying, is referring that our body should be renewed. That we need to present ourselves Mm. as a living sacrifice hallelujah so so it is an internal process it's not only outward because outward i can renew myself i can have a new hair do amen i can have a new walk that i decide to walk amen i can have a new slam but this is a process and it happens inside us and it's not a one day thing Mm. it takes day by day by day Mm. and that's why he's saying that i beseech you by the mercies of god may you present your bodies as a living sacrifice holy and acceptable unto god which is your reasonable service so if we are going to present ourselves as a living sacrifice before god we need to do what we need to renew ourselves amen Amen. Like I said, the same old and the same old cannot go before God day in and day out. The same old and the same old cannot serve God day in and day out. Amen. So it is very important for us. Hallelujah. So it is very important for us. It is a process. Why is it important for us to renew ourselves? Amen. Amen. But before we go to that, I just want to ask ourselves where we are right now. Hallelujah. I came up this which tells us something. Where are you right now? Mm. Where is your current where is the current state of your spirit right now? Hallelujah. As you are sitting here today, you know my children, when you ask them to say, How are you? they'll just answer good. How are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm good. And and when I first came here, people I used to have this to say, Are you alright? They'll ask you. They'll just say, Are you alright? They'll say, Oh yeah, I'm alright. And some people say, No, I just say I'm alright. So I to get them off my back. Because they'll always keep coming to say, Are you alright? Are you alright? Are you alright? Are you alright? That's what I'm asking you today. What is your state of mind? What is your current state of mind? The current state of your spirit right now, where you are right now. Are you all right? First of all, is it excellent? Is the current state of your spirit excellent? Meaning, you are doing great. So you can answer for yourself. If your current state is excellent, it means you are doing great. We thank God for that. Amen. If your current state is good, then you are doing well. But what does it 
mean to do well. Amen. Amen. If your current stage is fair, you are doing okay. So why are you doing okay? Mm. Are you surviving? Okay. Are you just getting on with it? And if your current state is poor, it means that you are in a state where you be you are slumped, amen. Where your spirit is slumped down and you could do with some awakening, hallelujah. And I want to speak to every category in here today because it is an important process, especially to those who, who are poor or you are fair or you are good. Amen. Hallelujah. I want to speak to you. I know we cannot be able, but you can be excellent. You can have an excellent spirit. Because I believe that. Amen. Because the Bible says so. Mm. But what I want to say that it is important for you to be renewed. It is important for you to renew yourself. You are only renewed. To be renewed is a process mm. of empowerment. Mm. So why do you need to be renewed? You need to be renewed because that's the only way as you renew yourself, you create a spiritual growth within you. Hallelujah. It is the place of renewal where your spiritual growth is, 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 is where you, you have that spiritual growth. Apart from the spiritual growth, it is, your, it is at the point of renewal where your life begins to change in every situation of your life. Amen. Amen. And apart from that, it is in the place of renewal where you obtain continuous improvement. Hallelujah. You improve day by day, day by day, day by day. The Bible says that our, our, our spirit man, it dies. Day and day, it needs to be renewed. Hallelujah. Amen. Then apart from that, it brings us back to the place where we can be used by God. That's why we need that renewal. Amen. So that we can grow spiritually. So that our life can change. So that we can be in a continuous improvement in our life. And that it will bring us back to the place where we can be led and serve God once again. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. So we might be saying today that what is it that needs renewing? What is it in your life that needs renewing? Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. What is it in your life that needs renewing? Because it's a process. So this year is my prayer that you shall be renewed. That as you renew yourself, you shall continue to do what? To create a spiritual growth within you. So you shall not be discouraged. You shall change your way of life. Things will turn around for you as you renew your mind. Amen. You shall, be, you, you shall continue to move from one level to another. We can't afford to be stagnant in this year. We can't afford to be in one place in this year. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And that it will bring you back to the place where God can work in you. Amen. Amen. Because the Bible says that there is a power that is working within us, both to do and both to will. So there's a power working in us. So if there's a power that is working in us, our minds need to be renewed. Hallelujah. Amen. So we read in, in, in Romans chapter 12, verse 1 to 2. The Bible says, I beseech you, I beseech you therefore, brethren, by the mercies of God, that you present your bodies as a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable unto God, which is your reasonable service. Now, verse 2, I'm interested in, because this is the basis of our renewal, amen. amen. It is the foundation of everything that we have to renew in our lives. And this is where we need to start from. It says that be not conformed to this world, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind. Hallelujah. It says be ye conformed by the renewing of your mind that you may prove what is that good, acceptable, and the perfect will of God. Amen. I said before that it's through our bodies that we express the way we think. We express what we have. We express how we live. Amen. And that's why Paul was talking about us making a sacrifice of renewing our mind. It is the basis. Amen. Because it is in him we live, we move, and we have our being. So it is the basis of everything that we do. It is the foundation of, of the bedrock of every form of renewal. So I want to go through certain things that we need to renew. There might be many, but I want to talk about four or five 
things. Amen. Amen. So the first thing that we need to do is to renew our mind. Amen. The first thing, first and foremost, before you renew anything else, you need to renew your mind. Amen. Amen. I found this saying somewhere which I, which I found very interesting. It says that only the transformed mind, only transformed minds by the power of the gospel can transform nations. Amen. So if our minds are not transformed, how do we transform the nations? How do we transform our neighbors? How do we transform everything about around us? Because the Bible tells us in Proverbs 4.23, you need your mind to be renewed. Because the Bible says that, uh, it tells us that guard your heart. Because out of your heart is where all the issues of life Hallelujah. come from. Every issue you are going through right now is because of your heart. Hallelujah. So if you do not guard your heart, everything will hit you left, right, and center. Mm. So when we're talking about renewing your mind, we're talking about guarding your heart. One day we'll, I'll preach a message about how to guard your heart. Our Amen. hearts have to be guarded from certain things, hallelujah, so that our minds can be transformed by the power of the gospel, hallelujah. Mm. Like I said, to renew, our minds need to be renewed, amen. Hallelujah. In this sense, when we are new, renewing our mind, it's talking about replacing, replace the old way of thinking. Replace your old habits, amen, with a new way, hallelujah. What is the new way? The new way is found in the word of God. So whatever old way of thinking, whatever old habits that we have, whatever addictions that we have, amen. amen. Because for, for you to get to the point of addiction, it starts as a habit. Someone said that something that you repeat over 14 days becomes a habit. Mm. Amen. Something that you repeat over a consecutive period of 14 days, it becomes a habit. So if we have to renew, to renew means we need to come to a place where we are able to replace. We replace the old way of thinking with a new way and our old habits. The Bible tells us to renew our minds by the washing of the word. Hallelujah. Amen. So our minds need to be renewed by the washing of our words. In short, he said that replace your old thinking. Replace your old ways by the word of God. Amen. Replace it by the promises of God. What are the promises of God saying, what is the Bible saying? And that what is you that is what you replace your way of thinking. When you think you cannot, the Bible says that you can do all things through Christ who gives you strength. Amen. When, you, when, when you feel weak, the Bible says that He's able to lift you up. Hallelujah. Amen. Because He is with you. The Bible encourages you and says, You know what? I am the God that healeth you, I'm the God that heals you, I'm the God that heals you, I'm the God that heals you. I'm the God that guides. I'm the God that leads. I'm the God that shows you your way. Why? Hallelujah. Because we are replacing our old way of thinking with what the Bible says. Because the Bible says that as a man thinketh in his heart, so he is. Mm. So if you think you are a grasshopper, then you are a grasshopper. If you think you cannot mount to nothing, then you can't mount to nothing. That's why we need to be careful of the declarations that we make over our life. The declarations that we make over our situations, our families and our children. Hallelujah. Amen. Because when we renew our mind with the washing of the word, thinking by the word, it does what? It strengthens our hearts. Hallelujah. Our hearts shall be strengthened. Mm. And not only shall our hearts be strengthened, but it will help you to fulfill mm. God's purpose for your life. Amen. Because it will cause you to carry on, not only his purpose, but God's will for your life, hallelujah. Amen. It will also help to strengthen your faith. When you when you replace your way of thinking with the word of God, it helps you to strengthen your faith, faith and it makes you stronger. Mm. Amen. Amen. And it also makes you to think how God thinks and also to speak how God speaks. Amen. But the Bible says that life and death are in the power of the tongue. So whatever you declare, it becomes. Amen. Amen. Because the Bible says that we shall decree a thing and it shall be it shall established. So we need to be careful of the things that we say, even when we are alone. Amen. There's some things that you might just think because we are we we're subject to thinking. Don't let it out. Amen. Leave it. 
in your thought process, and I'll get to that later. Amen. Leave it there. Amen. Don't speak it out. Because the moment you speak, says you don't know, a bird might be flying by and might carry that word. Amen. As simple as it looks. Hallelujah. Amen. So it helps us. And it, and it helps us to speak how God speaks. Mm. Because, because you know, some people who declare says, how do you know? Because God has said so. Amen. How do you know? Because it is written in the word. Amen. That I shall, he shall not let me dash my foot. It is written in the word that he shall get his angels to take charge over my life. Hallelujah. It is written in his word that when I march shall fall seven times, I know I'll rise up. Hallelujah. I know I'll rise up. No matter how much defeated I am, because the Bible says that a man shall, shall fall seven and seven times, but he shall rise up again. And the Hallelujah. Bible says that many are the afflictions of the righteous, but God will deliver me from Hallelujah. every affliction. Hallelujah. So you begin to think the mind of God. You begin to speak the mind of God when your mind is renewed. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And apart from that, it helps you keep your eyes focused on Jesus Amen. in the middle of the storm. You begin to see Jesus at the center of it all. No matter the disarray, the demo, you see Jesus at the center of it all. But how do you do that? You have to study, you have to study the word. Amen. Not only study the word, but you apply the word to your situation. Hallelujah. Amen. You apply the word to your situation. Because Joshua says, let this book of law not depart from you. Mm. He says, meditate upon it day and night that you shall do. Amen. Amen. You shall do as he says, then your ways shall be prosperous. Amen. And you shall succeed. So don't only read the word. This year I want to challenge you. If you want to taste and see the goodness of God, don't just study the word. Apply the word, amen, amen. to your situation. Then the other way that we can renew our minds is that we need to control our thoughts. Hallelujah. Amen. Second Cor Cor Corinthians chapter 10. Maybe we can read that one. Second Corinthians chapter 10 verse 2. We need to control our thoughts. Second Corinthians chapter 10 verse 5. 2 Corinthians chapter 10 verse 5 chapter number 10 and verse 5 the Bible says 2 Corinthians chapter number 10 and verse 5 casting down mm. Mm. all arguments mm. and every high thing that exalts itself mm. against the knowledge of God mm. bringing every thought into captivity to the obedience of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. So man says, casting down imaginations mm. and bringing into captivity mm. every thought to the obedience of Christ. So we need to conquer our thought life. Amen. Amen. We need to be victorious in our thought life. He's telling us, take them into captivity. What is he saying? Dismiss the thoughts. Hallelujah. When the thoughts come to you, do what? Dismiss the thoughts mm. and replace them with different thoughts. Replace them with the word of God. Replace those thoughts with the promises Hallelujah. of God. That what has God said? Mm. I remember somebody was giving a test, but somebody was in a lift and the lift opened. So the person, someone was waiting for a lift. Then the lift opened and the person in the lift asked them to say, are you going down? So this, this, this woman of God says, no, 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 no. I'm not going down. I'm going into the lift. I want to go into the lift. I'm not going down. The lift is going down. So I'm going down with the lift. So dismiss the thoughts in your... Dismiss those thoughts. Replace them with the, with the promises of God. There's one time as we were laughing with a friend and we were talking about... We, about I just want to name like the, the people from West Africa, the Nigerians, that they're quite aggressive in their prayer lives. Hallelujah. If you tell them something, they'll say, no, 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 no. Not over my dead body shall not happen. Mm. They'll speak out that, no, this is not my portion. Being aggressive... Hallelujah. Aggressive, denying all things. The Shunammite woman, wherever she went, they said, Is it well? She says, It is well. Hallelujah. In a man, she says, I know my child is dead, but it is well. 
I know that this is the promise that God has given me, but it is well. And so I'm going to go back until I get to the promise giver. Until I go to I get to the giver of life, it is well. And I'll go and pour my heart at the giver of life. And so many times we think aloud. Hallelujah. There's so many of us who think aloud. Mm. Oh, I'm just thinking aloud. Do you mean it? Oh, I'm just thinking aloud. Because the Bible says, out of the abundance of their heart, their mouth speaketh. Hallelujah. That's why it's very important mm. not to tell jokes. Mm. Mm. Please, Amen. be careful the jokes that you make. As simple as they look, remember that you shall declare a thing. And it shall be established. Hallelujah. So I want to challenge us today, like I said. Mm. Let us replace our thought lives. Let us dismiss those things. Replace them with the word of God. Replace them with the promises of God. And my, and my, and my question to you today is what are you feeding your mind with? Mm. What have you been feeding your mind with? Amen. Be careful this year what you feed your mind with. Hallelujah. Some of us we watch a lot of telly. Mm. All this uh, uh, rumble, this rumble, that shooting here, gunning there, and so many times you find that you begin to. F are you are you feeding your mind with those films that are showing you fear and unbelief? Mm. Hallelujah. Are you reading books that are bringing bad thoughts to you? Are these books that you are reading, are they aligning with the word of God? It's time to stir yourself up and your mind. Begin to buy books that, 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 that reveal certain things in your life. Mm. That are taking you to where God is taking you to. Or the things that you are desiring in your life. If you are desiring for bread, you desire for, look for this book to be, to be a good uh, to be a servant, look for books on servanthood and read those books. See what people have done, the mistakes they've made mm. and how they've got to where they are at. Mm. All those things. To read good, think good books that will, will show you bring good out of you. Hallelujah. Make you successful. Mm. So what are you feeding your mind with? Be careful with what you feed your mind with. Hallelujah. The next thing that you need to renew is your faith in God. Mm. Renew your faith in God. Mm. How do we renew your faith in God? One, by confession. Mm. Have you anywhere along the line fallen short of the glory of God? Are you in a backslidden state? Hallelujah. Are you in a place whereby you are not decided whether it is time to serve God or not. Are you double-minded with one leg in the world and one leg? Are there certain things in, 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 in your Christian walk that you are still doubting? Are there certain areas in your life where you are still doubting God? Are there certain areas in your life where you feel like is there really God? Even as you read the word, as we are praying and fasting in this year, in the place of prayer and meditation, you can renew your faith in God by confession. Confess the word. Amen. Hallelujah. You meditate on the word of God. Meditation on the word is you read the word, or maybe you take one scripture or one verse, read the word, meditate on it. What does it say? What is it saying to me? How shall I apply to my daily life? Mm. Amen. Amen. And then you do what? Then you agree with the word that I agree with this word. And this word is speaking to me. And after you have agreed with the word, believe that this is the word of God. Hallelujah. Believe that this is God working on your life. Believe that this is God who is directing you. And after you have done that, do what? Act upon the word. This Amen. year we want to be doers. We want to be hearers and doers of the word. Amen. Amen. So that we shall move from that place of doubt. We shall move from that dead place of wandering about. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So that we shall be strengthened in our faith. Amen. Hallelujah. So we shall be strengthened in our faith as we study the word. Mighty we are strengthened God. in our faith in the place of praise and worship. You can just put a message on. Amen. Begin Hallelujah. to listen to it while you are driving, you are eating, or you are cooking, or you are doing whatever. Just get that message. Let it resonate in your spirit. 
spirit. Let it speak to you. Let there be an unction in your spirit. Hallelujah. And do not move until you feel it in you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Do not move from that place of worship and praise. Hallelujah. The other thing that we need to renew, mm. renew yourself spiritually. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Psalm chapter 5 verse 10. Psalm chapter 5 verse 10. Psalm we, chapter 5 verse 10. We need to renew yourself. We need to renew ourselves spiritually. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. So Psalms 51. Psalms 51 verse 10. Hallelujah. We need to renew ourselves. What am I talking about? You need to renew and refresh your spirit. Mm. Amen. Amen. You need to renew and refresh your spirit. Because it is your spirit man that engages with God. God has put his spirit in us. Mm. It is our spirit that communes with God. Amen. Amen. Said, the, our natural self cannot, cannot comprehend the things of the spirit. Mm. It is the spirit of God that is working in us right now. The spirit of God receives revelation. Mm. So we need to renew and refresh our spirit. So Psalms 51 verse 10. Psalms 51 verse 10. And verse 10 the Bible says Psalms 51 10. Create in me, O God, mm. a, clean, a clean heart. Amen. And renew a steadfast spirit within me. Hallelujah. Psalms 51.10 Create in me, O God, a clean heart and renew a steadfast spirit within me. Hallelujah. So this was David crying out a cry for purity. Mm. Create in me a clean heart, O God. Mm. It says renew a right spirit within me. Mm. He was pleading with God to, to cleanse him. He was pleading with God to pardon him from the sin that he had done. He was pleading with God to create a clean, clean heart within him. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He was pleading. He says, renew a right spirit within me. Amen. Amen. He says, renew a constant spirit. A spirit which is upright. A spirit which is right and proper. A spirit which is true and sincere. Hallelujah. A spirit which is firm, constant and fixed. Amen. In me. Mm. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He's praying for that spirit mm. after he had sinned and was going back to God to refresh his spirit. Mm. God to renew his spirit. Amen. Mm. Praying out a cry for purity. Mm. Praying for a heart that would be firm in the purpose and the virtues of God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Crying out for a heart that would not yield to temptation. Amen. Mm. Cry out to God for a heart that will carry out the holy resolutions Hallelujah. of God. Cry out for a heart that shall be steadfast mm. in the service of God. Hallelujah. Create in me a clean heart, O yes, God. Lord. Renew a right spirit in me. And that should be our cry this year. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Mm. That God shall renew a right spirit in us. That God shall renew our uh, spiritually. That God shall refresh our spirits. Hallelujah. Spiritually. Hallelujah. In Jesus' mighty name. Yes, Lord. Then the next thing that we are looking in Isaiah 40, verse 40, 31. Let God renew our strength. Mm. Let God renew our strength. Amen. Hallelujah. I'm talking about those who have lost their motivation. Hallelujah. Those who have lost uh, what it takes to do what they did. Mm. You know, when we first gave our lives to Christ, we could even minister to a cabbage. Hallelujah. Amen. We could even minister to a cat who Amen. was running around and saying, you know what? Hear the word of God Hallelujah. and move yonder so that I can pass. But now we have lost that tenacity Hallelujah. and that vigor. Mm. So in literal, so we need your strength for something better. Amen. Hallelujah. Even when the days ahead of us seem like we cannot go on to another day. Seem like we cannot move forward. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Into another day. Even against our struggles, God is going to grant us renewed strength. We need the new, renewed 
strength to push forward. Amen. We need, we need renewed strength to go forward. And the Bible tells us in Nehemiah, it won't go to that. He says that the joy of the Lord is your strength. Hallelujah. So as you serve God with joy, amen. Amen. As you press on with joy, as you worship with joy, as you pray with joy, as you read the word with joy, because you receive joy, you drain, the Bible says, with joy, draw waters from the river of life. There is a river of life. There's a fountain of life that is pouring out unto you as you read the word, as you hear the word, as you worship, as you praise, as you are serving God. And it's that same strength, amen, that is going to strengthen you. Mighty God. And it's going to keep you going. Hallelujah. Amen. Exodus 15, 12 says that the Lord is my strength and my song. Amen. Amen. When the Lord becomes your strength and your song, then you walk in victory. Mm. You receive victory from the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. In Isaiah 41, verse 10, God encourages us that you strengthen us. Amen. That you will help us. You uphold us with his right hand. Amen. Because he tells us not to fear or be dismayed because he will strengthen us. Hallelujah. Even in the hard times. Mm. So I don't know what hard times you are going through right now. Mighty God. But may God strengthen you. May the joy of the Lord be your strength. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. May the Lord be your strength and the song and your song in the night. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So that he shall give you victory. Mm. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Even in those hard times. Amen. Mighty so we God. pray that the Lord shall give you strength. Read Bible verses that strengthen you. Mm. Now we've got Google. You just Google Bible verses about strength. Mm. Bible verses about healing. Hallelujah. Bible verses about peace. Mm. Bible verses about comfort. Bible verses about victory. Hallelujah. And begin to meditate on them. If you want, stick them on the wall of your heart. That wherever you pass, you look to them. I remember there was a certain my life when I was praying to God that God, when are you going to come through for me? Amen. Amen. When I was believing God for marriage and marriage wasn't coming through year in and year out and year in. Mm. But then I remember one time I said, you know what? I think enough is enough. Hallelujah. So I took First Corinthians chapter First Chronicles chapter 4 verse 9, yeah? Amen. The prayer of Jabez. Mm. And I stuck it on my bedroom on my bedroom wall where I used to, to face. Mm. And I stuck it in my door and in my Hallelujah. living room. And whenever I pass, I never bypass, I'll look at the note and I'll say, somebody remind me again. The prayer of Jabez. Jabez, uh, that you may remember. Oh, 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 that you may bless, bless me, me indeed. Enlarge my territory. Mm. Let not your hand come off me. Mm. Then protect me from all evil. Mm. And God granted Beata her prayer. Hallelujah. And I made it three times a day I'll pray that prayer. Mm. Three times a day I took it as medicine. And every time I went out of my room to every door I spoke and I said, Lord, mm, bless, me. bless me. I'm in pain. Bless me indeed. Mm. Enlarge my territory. Hallelujah. Let, don't let no hand leave me. Mm. Protect me. And bless me in, indeed, indeed. Mm. And do what, oh God, grant me my Hallelujah. request. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So find verses mm. that will do what? That will take you to another level. Yes. That will strengthen you in the situation that you are. Amen. 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 And you find that you will be sweet to make you strong in faith. Amen. You shall be able to contend against any spiritual fall. Amen. Amen. You shall be able to gain victory over every enemy. And that's why you see that when we're praying in our prayers, we always stand upon the word of God. Hallelujah. When you're in a place of prayer, find a scripture to stand on. Hallelujah. Don't just come before God and say, God, heal me. The enemy will also come and say, what do you mean, heal you? From what? What healing? You're taking tablets. You're doing this. There's no cure. There's no that. But you stand upon the word and you say what? You are the God that healeth me. And the Bible says you are Jehovah. So I stand upon this word. Hallelujah. That's why the God who heals. I stand upon the word that you give peace 
Hallelujah. That surpasses all other understanding. Yes. Let us learn to stand upon the word of God. Hallelujah. The fifth thing that we need to renew, Proverbs 5, 3, verse 5 to 6. Amen. And I'll be winding up shortly. Proverbs 3, verse 5 to 6. Mm. The next thing that we need to renew in Proverbs 3, verse 5 to 6. Mm. Hallelujah. Renew your relationship with God. Mm. First and foremost, renew your relationship with God. Amen. It's very important every year to come back to God and say, God, I want to renew your, my relationship with you. Mm. So that you do not become familiar. Because sometimes we become so familiar with God. Hallelujah. We don't even hear what he's saying. Mm. We just think everything is normal. Everything is, 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 is just business as normal. Oh yes, yesterday when I stood against Goliath with my shield, uh, with my stone and my sling, I, 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 I slay Goliath. So tomorrow I'm going to go out again, let Goliath come. No, 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 no. To every battle there's a different strategy. To every battle there's a different strategy. That's why we need to renew our relationships. Even in my we say our vows. We renew our vows. Amen. Amen. That's why we are reminded of our anniversary. So that we renew our vows. We renew our relationship that we've we been through. Even with our friends. We renew our relationship every now and then. Proverbs chapter 3 verse 5 to 6. Proverbs chapter 3 verse 5 to 6. Proverbs chapter number 3 verse 5 to 6. The Bible says... Trust in the Lord with mm. all your heart. Yeah. And lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways, acknowledge God, and He will direct your path. Amen. 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 So He tells us to trust in the Lord with all. He says, lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways, in everything that you do this year, acknowledge God. Amen. Do not do it unless God says yes. Do not go unless God, and until you hear God, do not confirm anything. Amen. Amen. He says in every way acknowledge him. So we need to renew our relationship with God. So we begin to hear his voice again. Because sometimes we get to a point where we don't even hear God's voice anymore. We don't even know that this is, this is God speaking. We don't even know that this is the path that God is telling us to path. Because when we renew our relationship with God, He does what? He guides our path. Amen. Amen. Not only does He guide our path, when we renew our relationship with God, He reminds us that, that we, we belong to Him. Amen. Hallelujah. I'll give you some few scriptures. You can read them in your time. I'll quickly go through them. When we, He reminds us, it reminds you that you belong. Leviticus 26, 11 to 12. And 1 John 4, verse 3. So it reminds you that you belong. Leviticus 26, 11 to 12. And 1 John 4 to 13. He reminds you. In Leviticus, says, I will set my tabernacle among you. Hallelujah. And he says that, I sh and, 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 and he shall be what? He shall be by you. Amen. Amen. He says, I'll set my tabernacle among you. Amen. He says, and I'll walk among you, and I'll be your God. Amen. And you shall be my people. And that is to do with what? With relationship. Amen. The other thing what happens when we renew our relationship with God is that, is that it gives us a new life which is full of possibilities and promises. Amen. Hallelujah. You can read Mark 10, chapter, Mark 10, 27. You can read Romans 5, 18. You can read Romans 4, 13. So when we renew our relationship with God, because it gives us a, a, a new life which is full of possibility and promises. Because Mark told, tells us that, it says, Jesus looking unto them said, with men it is impossible. Yeah. Amen. But not with God. Hallelujah. For with God all things oh, are possible. possible. So God is able to say, you know what, with me this is possible. Amen. I don't care what report you have received, but with me this is possible. Hallelujah. I don't care what everybody else has said, but with me, mm. this is possible. 
Hallelujah. We are able to see the possibilities and the promises of God. The next thing it does is that it makes you stronger. Hallelujah. Your relationship with God is renewed. It makes you stronger. Mm. First Kings chapter 10 verse 1. First Kings chapter 10 verse 1. Hallelujah. Ephesians chapter 6 verse 11. It says that put on the whole armor of God that you may stand against the walls of the devil. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So it makes you stronger that you are able to stand. That when he comes this way, you are able to, to shield yourself. He comes from this way, you are able to shield yourself. He comes from every direction, you are able to shield yourself. The next thing, the, 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 your, when you renew your relationship with God, what it does to you, it keeps you on the straight and the narrow path. Mm. Amen. Hallelujah. So first John chapter 1 verse 9. Luke chapter 12, 21. And 1 John chapter 1 verse 6. So when your relationship with God is renewed, it keeps you on the right path. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Because the Bible says that if we say that we have fellowship with him, and walk in darkness. We lie. Mm. And we do not speak the truth. The truth. Amen. Amen. The Bible says it's the truth that will set you free. free. It says in him we live, we move, and we have our So our existence is in God. Amen. Amen. It says those who are the children of God, they are led by the Spirit of God. Because to them who believed, he gave them the power to become the sons of God. Amen. Why? Hallelujah. Because of the relationship that we have with God. Hallelujah. And last, and, and the other thing is that it reassures our unconditional love with God. Mm. When we renew our relationship, it reassures our, or reaffirms our, our conditional love with God. Mm. And you can go and read Romans chapter 8, verse 38 to 39. You can also go and read Romans chapter 14, verse 22 and 2 Corinthians chapter 5 verse 21 because Paul says in Romans that I'm persuaded that neither death nor life in Romans 8 38 he says for I am persuaded that neither death nor life nor angels no principalities, no powers, no things present or the things to come. It says neither height nor depth, nor any other creature mm. shall be able to separate me. Hallelujah. Shall be able to separate you. Shall be able to separate your children. Shall be able to separate your family. Mm. From what? From the love of God. Hallelujah. So that's what happens when we renew our relationship with God. And lastly, maybe we can open to Romans, sorry, to 2 Corinthians 5.17. We need to renew our motivation and our hope in God. Hallelujah. We need to renew our motivation and our hope in God. Because 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 17 I want us to read this all to, together because this is the conclusion of the whole matter. Amen. <laughs> this is the conclusion of the whole matter. Second Corinthians 5. Chapter 5 verse 17. Hallelujah. 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 Second Corinthians 5. Chapter 5 verse 17. A pastor will read it first, then we shall all read it together, whatever version that you are in. Amen. First Corinthians chapter number five, second Corinthians five seventeen. Second Corinthians five seventeen. The Bible says, Therefore, if anyone is in Christ Jesus, Amen. He is a new creation. Yeah. The old things have passed away. Amen. And behold, all things have become new. Amen. He says, therefore, if any, therefore, therefore, following, mm. following being renewed. Amen. Hallelujah. Following being, being a renewal in your life. Following a regeneration. Following a refreshness in your life. 
Hallelujah. The Bible says, therefore, if any man be in Christ, he is a new creature. Hallelujah. Creature is the generic term for all of us, for God's creation. Mm. He says, the old things have passed away, and behold, new things, new things have come. Hallelujah. I just want us to read it together. Whatever version that you are in, Hallelujah. one, two, three. Therefore, if any man be in Christ, he is a new creature. Old things are passed away, and behold, all things become new. Amen. Let's just lift up our hands to the heaven. Hallelujah, hallelujah. It's my prayer that God shall renew, that even as God is doing a new thing in our lives, that we shall be renewed in the mighty name of Jesus. Therefore, today I just want to pray for a renewing of our minds in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Let there be a renewing in our mind, new ways of thinking, new ways of doing things, new ways that the word of God wash away our minds. Wash off. Let there be a renewing of our minds today. In the mighty name of Jesus, by the washing of the word, let there be a renewing of our minds, that our minds shall be occupied with the things of God. Oh, let there be a liberation. I don't know what your mind has been hooked on to, but today I pray in the name of Jesus, we set you free in the name of Jesus. We speak liberty. We speak freedom and deliverance. We break every yoke that has, that has held on to your mind. We take into captivity every wandering thought upon your mind. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we pray that your faith shall be renewed. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, therefore we wipe away every doubt. We cancel every wandering mind. We come and tell every wandering mind. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we are praying right now. In the name of Jesus Christ, that may your spirit be refreshed. May your spirit be refreshed. May your spirit be refreshed. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we are praying for a right spirit. May the Lord create a clean heart within you. We are praying for a right spirit. A spirit that should look to God. A spirit that shall not yield to temptation. A spirit that shall be steadfast in the things of God. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we pray that you shall be renewed. That your strength shall be renewed. In the name of Jesus, your relationship with God shall be renewed in this year. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, that your motivation and your hope shall be renewed this year. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, that this year you'll be able to give up. We pray for the grace to give up. Whatever, you know, whatever is stopping you from going deeper in your relationship with God, we are praying today that may you be renewed in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father God, we just want to thank you. We just want to thank you. I just want you to lift up your hands wherever you are. Just lift up your hands wherever you are. In the name of Jesus Christ. Oh yes, I rise up. I raise up my hand. I raise up my hand and I touch everybody. Everyone under the sound of my voice. Everyone under the sound of my voice. Whatever has conquered your mind. Whatever thoughts have conquered your mind. Right now I take into captivity every wandering thought. I dismiss every wandering thought. Let us stop you from moving forward. I dismiss every thought. I dismiss every thought. We take authority by the Spirit of God. Over your thought life right now. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We pray for you right now. That that same mind that was in Christ Jesus. May that same mind rest upon you. We liberate your mind. We liberate your mind. We liberate your mind. We liberate your mind. And we declare right now. That may you hear the voice of God this way. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Oh, we surrender you to God. 
We surrender you to yes, the grace of God. God. That is able to keep you in grace. this year. Yes, Lord. We surrender your money. Yes, mighty God. We surrender your money. We surrender your money. We surrender your money. In the mighty name Hallelujah. of Jesus. Hallelujah. We surrender your money. In the name of Jesus. Now unto him. Unto With God who is able to keep yes, you from Lord. falling. We give you and praise. to present you faultless before the God. presence of his glory. Hallelujah. With exceeding joy. Rakaraba. To the only wise God, Rakaraba. our Savior, Rakaraba. being glory and majesty, Rakaraba. dominion and Rakaraba. power, Rakaraba. both Rakaraba. now and forevermore. Rakaraba. In Jesus' mighty name Hallelujah. we have prayed. Mm. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen and amen. amen.